What's up YouTube and welcome to Akshan Solitaire. Now, I was contemplating for a while whether or not to actually do this video because this deck has a very bad reputation and I wasn't sure whether or not I want to give it exposure but the deck is incredibly strong. At the time of recording this, some people are thinking about bringing this to the seasonal tournament and it did hit rank two and I think even rank one on the European ladder with Teddy as a pilot, of course, an incredibly gifted player. But yeah, I think this is a classic case of don't hate the player, hate the game if you run into someone playing this. And it's also just a short time before a new expansion gets released and the meta gets shuffled. So I think it is fair to give this deck a shot and showcase it. Now, first of all, why is this deck so controversial? Why does it have such a bad reputation? The idea here is to basically pull off something that's close to an infinite combo. Now, true infinite combos don't really exist anymore in Legends of Runeterra ever since the rule change got implemented that you can only play a card 15 times per turn. But that's all the deck needs to get its incredible combo to pop off that is centered around parallel convergence. What you want to do is this. We get Akshan on the board early, we flip the landmark, the Warlord Sword, and we get Sentinel's Horde into our hand, which we will use a million times to draw two. Your cards cost one less this round. How do we ensure that we get to do that a million times? We copy the card through counterfeit copies or with Evil K, officially called Evil Imperfectionist, of course. The idea here is to copy the Font of Power three times, and with our fourth iteration of either counterfeit copies or Evil Imperfectionist, we want to hit Call Shot or even better parallel convergence at the same time we use the fount of power like i said up to 15 times that's how often you can use it to draw through our whole deck and basically our cards are all gonna cost zero mana very quickly that's why we can fill up the board for free and incredibly consistency and once we have a board that is six units wide we play multiple copies of parallel convergence and eventually find lethal that way if we have the attack token, we can even go for another full board swing after having played two or three or <laughs> what, five parallel convergences already. So to sum up, we want to stall the early game, get the font of power from Akshan's landmark, copy it a million times, draw through our whole deck, build up a board and swing with it like five times due to parallel convergence. And that does sound incredibly inconsistent at first, but you will be surprised at how consistently you can pull off the combo around turn six, seven, eight usually. And now with that idea in mind, let's have a look at what cards are actually in this deck and then everything is going to make a lot more sense, right? To get uh, the landmark rolling early and consistently, we play three Akshans, three Vagabonds, three Rites of Calling and a lot of landmark advancement. Clockwork Curator as well as Time in a Bottle, the Predict can also be very cute. Sands of Time is a great stalling tool as well as Instant Century, of course, getting the Warlord Sword discounted rapidly. Then we play a lot of card tutoring basically select a draw in cards like Time Trick and Station Archivist so we can always find that combo piece that we currently need. Perseverium as some other mana efficient draw to cycle through our deck and Zonite Urchin. Mostly we want to keep that as a combo piece for our big solitaire turn. Sometimes in aggro matchups we want to play this in the early game but usually it's better as a combo piece uh, to get that zero mana draw to find the combo pieces that we need consistently. And the rest is a bit of utility. Shaped Stone that helps us discount the landmark or rather count on the landmark while simultaneously helping us in aggro and mid-range matchups and quicksand and right of negation to protect either our nexus or our landmark or whatever. So the deck is very flexible in its play and it's often very hard to find the perfect line of play because you have so many options each turn. Very often it's going to be good to not do the full combo in one very turn, but maybe like generate the first font of power, copy it twice, but you run out of mana and then you just wait until the next turn with a lot of fonts of power in your deck already and you just tutor those with cards like Time Trick or Station Archivist and then basically just separate the full solitaire combo over two turns. And while the deck definitely has its own appeal, it is fun to play. It's kind of like puzzle solving in a way it is very frustrating to face for our opponent for sure because they will have to sit through a multiple minute long turn to see whether or not we actually find all of the combo pieces and piece them together correctly. So I only played three games with this deck uh, and I don't think I'm gonna play more. I got a lot of help from Twitch chat because I had no idea of how this concept works before I tried it out but that also made for a very interesting like learning experience on the stream footage and I think you'll get a lot of advice and pointers from this as well if you are considering trying this deck out. So here's a bunch of the educational footage for you that was taken off my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash freshlobstercg. 
Is it the moustache? Who knows? Okay, like this is my first time playing this deck, so... Bear with me. I've also never seen anyone actually play it. Going off of intuition here, we only want Akshan and uh, Vagabond, right? Rip. Really? Where are you? Hey, good players unite. You did your job already, it's fine. Except I kinda need a second action. What's that noise? Um Perseverian first, I believe. Could also burst draw next turn. I do clockwork curator now. This is where good players draw Akshan. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> Time trick's kinda unfair against Caitlyn traps. Oh, come on. This is so greedy. I cannot believe it. Oh. Negation, I guess. It's not even good. It's good enough, isn't it? They run too shaped and like a few copies of iterative, I think. I get the two one with the denial pops and that, but you're so right. You are so right. <laughs> Told you this is my first game on Action Infinite at midnight. Action where? Okay, is there any way to ensure he doesn't die? Do we ever just counterfeit Akshan here? I mean, he, he summons it on spawn, so it's kind of fine, isn't it? And it didn't seem like our opponent had another copy of the thing. Maybe it's just Akshan into Curator into Swing. We could... How much mana do we need for the infinite combo? Technically none, right? Oh, oh I thought... Okay. So if we play Curator this turn, go Sense of Time next turn, we can pop the landmark already, we'll have zero mana. Uh, we have one mana to work with though. So it's like one counterfeit copies. Can someone with experience tell me if that's enough or if we want to pop this with a lot of mana? Probably more mana is better, right? Be like five but two or three is doable you also don't have to go off in one turn if you whiff after copying you still have chances on later turns true i mean this hand is telling me something they're looking for that mark removal shit it's an infinite barkeep deck against infinite solitaire so ideally we'll just delay it into next turn and then we win what is bringing you stars in your eyes? could play zonites although zonite is also nice for the combo right I think we're chilling with four mana though. Keep Sawnites. 
Just pause here, we take seven. And we need one one counterfeit copies for a call shot, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or is that not a must? Or do we keep Zonites? It's a zero mana cycle. Like it just makes the combo way more consistent. Down to five. I'm not sure how much burn they run. But still, right? Run one copy of Forge Planet, four to it with duplicators, three go on horde, one goes a call shot in parallel convergence. Okay. So we actually draw through our whole deck. Like that's the, the actual plan, the actual idea here. Okay. Then my last question is. Do we play one copy, like one counterfeit, or do we immediately play both? Double copy. Is Rite of Calling good? Tends the deck. What's up, Panda? Remember, we should have one more mana here if we played this game again. Oh, right, right, right. Because of the end with the uh, right of negation, true. Hey, <laughs> good player draws. I don't need rules to know good from bad. So we have one counterfeit left and evil K, right? We could have also iterate evil K here, right? It's probably better than iterating Zonite. Nomsi is a unit, they probably just didn't know how to fix the bug, so they made it a unit instead. Duke is here, he's got 500 plus games on this deck. No wonder Duke is so toxic. <laughs> Holy smokes, what an opening hand. What's their turn three? I can develop pre. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'm Bones Cure Shenanigans or Top Deck Sea Scarab or Lure of the Depth Sea Scarab. Swing is probably better. Cool eye bash. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! So I think we just play one curator in next round. Yeah. Actually, let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, Ikado, right action looks really good here. Setting up the avalanche. <laughs> More like the zapling army. Could just rinse and repeat, right? Copies. Yeah, I'm thinking about Preservarium here, right? I feel like it's Preservarium this round. Because we like we can almost guarantee the advancement with these two. Time in a bottle also not too bad. Iterative, I think you mean counterfeit. But like Preservarium is draw two. It's more effective. I do think we play action here though, right? Uh, another time trick? Or skip and believe? I like time trick more, I think. Could also go action, right action the deck as well. I like time trick first though. Now we're not afraid anymore, are we? So I think we want to pop it on turn seven. Oh no, what do I do now? Not my arc, Sean. Dude, I could... Next turn I play Sands of Time. This is at 5. And I open my turn 7 with that thing in hand. That's GG, right? Now we DM opponent and let them know we have combo. <laughs> Well, if he crumbles, then we cry. Just kidding, we probably still win. We don't even have to pre-commit. I still think pre-committing is smarter. Right first? Right first, right, then deck. Time trick, right? Top priority right now is another pot. Or is, is Archivist actually. Archivist is worse odds, right? Time trick should be better. 
Though if Archivist whiffs, we get a very good uh, time trick then, right? Just the way the deck is constructed, that probably makes more sense. No, it doesn't. Because it shuffles the deck anyway, so we get the same like amount of looking into our deck. First passes don't exist on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, a good point. So this is a dead card. Um, we still iterate Archivist, though, right? Could also play Caught Shot, actually, and then we copy Parallel Convergence instead. Does that make sense? Or do we all like do we prefer to copy oh, sure. call shots over I conversions? So we, we still miss one copy card, right? Uh, Evil K on board, if I'm not mistaken. I quit counting at some point. <laughs> I didn't get it now. Do we prefer to copy Call Shot or Convergence? Probably Call Shot because it additionally draws, right? Okay, that's the last one. Still 22 cards in there. Oh. Convergence is better for Archivist hits. Or if you're just looking to finish, okay, I guess then I messed up there. Should not be a thing. It makes me feel dirty. I'm not even gonna lie.
And then did a combo <laughs> turn five. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's insane. I mean, turn six is already feeling way too dirty, to be honest. We can even like we can now archivist and if we don't find any useful thing in the top five cards we can predict copy archivist do the same thing again oh i should have drawn more first actually there because i can flip maokai right it's not enough but you get the idea Could also just copy Evil K actually. Good luck with this. the seasonal tournament begins it, it, uh, it shows in the client i'm not sure what time it begins but it says the time in the client okay i do the wise thing and play around absorb soul here and i go for one more convergence why do you cost three Oh, it shuffles. Okay, okay, gotcha. It's zero. Is it actually zero if I draw it though? For science. It is. Okay, okay. It's a visual bug. Yeah, I, I, I picked draw two because I wasn't sure if like the discount still applies that to the cards that K copied after all the discounts were already activated. <laughs> Unintentional, I swear. Wait, isn't this a free matchup? Uh, Vagabond is a keep, right? And if we keep Vagabond, I'm thinking about keeping Preservarium. I think this is good. FDR, don't ask questions. <laughs> Rams and goats, your landmark? You mean she who won the. No, it's uh, it that stares. True, true. It's like they're only playmaking. Or he just ropes me every round. This is What's the thought here? It's just Vive Feast, right? Trolls are going to war! 
Um, but how does it work if we ride now? We replay Akshan. He does not spawn Warlord Sword immediately, does he? Oh no, it is when I level up. Okay. Just oh, this, sure. right? Take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Eight lore months ago, where can I see decks and stuff? RuneterraCCG.com uh, MasteringRuneterra.com Mobilitics Runeterra.ar Would probably be like your best bets. If you want to go more into stats, there are some other sites as well. We'll see which one of us you cannot run from absolution. Could have killed Trundle. <laughs> so we're just looking for copies. Oh, we're looking for counterfeit though, right? I don't think we pick up Evil Imperfectionist. Yeah, I think it's Skip. Okay, it's good enough. Is she though? Okay, I'm gonna believe you here, Duke. I'm gonna believe in Twitch chat. Shall be the biggest mistake of my life. We have time? Not if they have it that stairs. I'm being paranoid. Uh, do we block with Akshan? Still need... Uh, we don't need... We're not that desperate for that work advancement, are we? Better never play this deck after tonight. No, 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 don't worry. Do it. But you might see it at seasonal, it's no cap, especially at top cut. Sans now. Sans block with action. And you you think that just having Evil K as a copy tool is fine? You guys are optimistic, but okay, I believe you, Twitch chat. One turn just having the post shuffle will suffice. My it's us. <laughs> Take down Presser Darium instead of the Hoy. True alpha move. Stack looks silly. Why would you play this? I don't know. It's just we a weird kind of torture. I mean, I think we just popped this, right? We could also wait till next turn, like play Preservarium here. Next turn have full mana. I think I like that more, right? Duke would shuffle now. I'm... Wait, if we shuffle now... It feels a bit scuffed. If we don't have more copies available. Shuffle now is more mana, but we also use up the first... I just believe Duke here. Do we ever not go for draw? Do we ever like, I don't know, resummon Akshan here? Strongest ally that died this game. We could suicide K, that's pointless. No, it's always draw. Using the two Akshan mana is sus. I got you, I got you. Mm, the world won't save itself, you know. So they FTR next turn, but FTR alone is maybe enough to close out the game. Quick sun saves. Do we go for it? Shit. <laughs> we go for it. Why is this bad? Like, just the odds wise. Now we're kind of playing roulette. 
With three cop two copies left in deck. One copy left in deck. What will you have? And we don't have mana to iterate evil K. Zonite's first, right? We still have an auction in deck? I think we still have an auction in deck. Actually, we can go Archivist. Oh, time. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Don't have an auction. First one. Pretty sure we do. Uh, wait, iterate evil K, right? No, we don't. <laughs> Time, please. No. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, the timer. <laughs> we did not have an action left. I feel like this is being played suboptimally, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Isn't that a hot take? Um... <laughs> right, <laughs> I have no idea what to do. I already kept track of... I already lost track. We copied twice, right? We copied the pot twice. So I think it's iterate on archivists. What do we do? Let me get you that file. We could iterate on evil K, right? Is that trolling? I don't think it's trolling. It's good for deck cycling, right? Shuffle rally. <laughs> Too late for that. Okay, so now we just need... We copied pots three times, if I recall correctly. We need one more copy card. What's Hansai saying? Yeah! Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> I have trolled this game so hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard to play this deck at 1am. <laughs> if you're not in the mood for, like, concentrating at all. <laughs> you did well. I appreciate the kind words. I, <laughs> I can kind of feel the, the, the sarcasm through my screen, though. <laughs> 